Escape room workers of Reddit. What's the most absurd thing players have done? Mate worked at an escape room and he told me that some guys tried to smash a hole in the wall to get out because it was an Alcatraz themed room. Escape room enthusiast here. We spend far more time than I care to admit trying to figure out what the hell the numbers written in sharpie on the underside of the rug in the middle of the room meant. Turns out they were an inventory number from the thrift store the designer bought the thing from. And nobody else had ever noticed them before. We still won. But that wasted a lot of our time. First thing I had to learn working at an escape room. Everything. Yes everything. In the room was going to be dismantled. Pulled on. Or messed with in some way. Have a screwdriver in the room. Maybe there's a clue in the light switch cover. Black light. Must have to take it completely apart. TV for clues. Must have to unplug change inputs. And anything not nailed down is bound to be broken. In the Netherlands there is this prison escape room where everyone is a prisoner and you have to escape prison. It is done in an actual ancient prison. There are about 300 participants and 85 actors. Mostly prison guards and some prisoners. They have over 15 storylines which you can follow and there are other inmates. Actors. Which will lead those storylines and send you one quests. Coming back to the question. At the beginning they warned everyone that no physical contact is allowed because during the first time people would actually threat each other to get money and guards have been attacked. Also they had to warn people that you weren't supposed to try climbing the 50 feet high prison wall. Had a group come in. I noticed they had been drinking a little. But seemed mostly fine. So I'll let them into the room and start the clock. They were just wandering around. At the half an hour mark they were laying on the floor and rolling around. They didn't do any harm to the room. I don't remember if they even solved one puzzle. When I let them out after an hour they claimed it was fun. But they didn't really do anything. And did they remember it the next day? IDK. I interviewed for a job at an escape room. They told me that one of their standard instructions you must tell every group is to not stick things in electrical outlets because too many people did it. What's ducked up is. I went to an escape room in LA where one of the puzzles was literally to stick a fork in a socket. Everyone told me I was insane when I suggested it. But two of the prongs were folded back and there was fake soot around the fake outlet. I did it and boom gave us the next clue. I thought it was super stupid though. Why risk people learning that behavior and trying it elsewhere? One guy pissed on the wall. Thinking the plaster was snow. Not sure if this counts. I did an escape room with a group of friends. At the end, you found a flash drive which was supposed to be plugged into a computer. We opened the document and there were instructions to print. We got print, and the printer gave us an out of ink error. We assumed this was part of the game and started looking for a magenta cartridge. Then an employee slipped in the room, replaced the cartridge, and told us to hit print again. Apparently it was not part of the game. They just ran out of ink. A group came in that disassembled some of the furniture, a bed and a desk, ripped some of the wallpaper off the walls and pulled the heads off some stuffed animals. I don't work at one but my co-worker went to one last year and his story was hilarious. He's a really serious guy from Boston, got talked into going to one with his wife and a few old friends that had come down for vacation. He said as soon as they walked in he saw a broom that looked completely out of place so he grabbed it. He thought they'd need it at some point. They made it out of the first room. They go to the second room and he still got the broom. He swears it was just too out of place to not be part of the puzzle at some point. They make it through the second room. The third room. They get stuck. They're reading the clues over and over and he gets fixated on the broom while everyone else is searching the room. He's looking it over up and down. Checking the handle for markings. Mind you he has terrible near sight vision. And checking the bristles. Time's running out and he's arguing with his wife at this point that the broom has the final clue. Time runs up. They walk out and the crew is just dying laughing at him. Someone left the broom by mistake. Nothing more. Nothing less. He carried that damn broom through three rooms. He got a good laugh about it later but he was embarrassed at the time. It was a great story he told the next morning at work. I went to one where there were three identical rooms which teams competed in at the same time. If you finished you then got to watch and listen to the other teams. Our team did pretty well and we got to watch the other two teams try to complete it. Anyway, 
There was this one lock which was a number combination and you solved it by finding some sheet music in a book. With 5 notes on it. Which corresponded to numbers. The piece was entitled the key or something similar so you knew you needed it for the lock. Anyway this other team instead of converting to numbers and putting in the combination chanted this 5 note tune at the lock. When it did not work they tried again. Then again. Then someone else tried. This went on for 10 minutes and got louder and louder. Eventually the game master stepped in and told them it was not going to work. Apparently they were the only team ever to do that. At an escape room near me they had a group of lads on a stag do. These guys got very drunk and during the escape room. Thought they could escape via the sewers. The managed to rip out the manhole cover which was bolted down into concrete. This cover is now permanently broken as it's too expensive to fix they said. Advised us to not escape via the sewers. One of them believed the clue was inside them. One time. A group was trying to figure out the code to a locked compartment. So this huge guy in the group decided this was a waste of time and tried to rip off the compartment door with his bare hands. He was almost successful. But we stopped him before he could do further damage to the door. He didn't understand what was wrong. Another one happened where a group were handcuffed and they couldn't find the key. The game master was trying to give them clues to find the key but they still couldn't find it. So one group member thought it would be best to use his leg. There was a table in the room with some items on it. He proceeded to knock over all the items with one kick. That group didn't win. A kid I knew from school. His family owns an escape room business. The most things that happen is people trying to take things when it's clearly nailed down or nailed to the wall and he said that a little kid pissed in a bottle. Not a worker but was with a group of people and one of them became so overwhelmed that almost immediately after walking in, they spun around and walked right back out again. Obligatory not a worker. Just done a lot of escape rooms and chatted with the staff. These are the dumbest people I've been told about. 1. One of the rooms is based on Jumanji and has a waterfall with real water in it. Enough people have tried to drink the water that they had to tell people not to in their opening spiel. 2. One of the rooms has a bunch of museum style display cases with glass covering the top with different puzzles inside. One of has sand in it and small holes in the top. Someone tried to tip the display case over and get the sand out so they could read the hidden message. When the game master told them to stop doing that she stopped momentarily and then tried again 2 minutes later. The game master told her if she did it again she'd be kicked out and the woman said just making sure you're paying attention. 3. People constantly try to pull up floorboards or tear down wallpaper in the horror themed room. Even after they're told there's nothing hidden there and warned not to do it or they'll get charged for the damage. Not terribly ridiculous but me and the husband love them and wanted to share our love of them with our family. When we got out of the escape room the super amazing nuclear explosion room in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the room operator was cracking up laughing. I guess at one point in order to get keys or clues my over enthusiastic husband had picked up my 8 year old nephew by the ankles upside down and was shoving him in barrels. I had no idea he was doing this but the operator was dying. Not an escape room worker. But second time I went to one the owner told me that once a group decided to smash all the locks because they found the hammer on which a clue is written. They had to replace all locks and it is now a toy hammer. I'd like to say those people were morons but when we found it the same idea was discussed in our group. There was an escape room by me that had a terrorist themed room. You get kidnapped and locked in a room with a bomb on the door. To up the realism. Your host was dressed to fit the role of kidnapper and would come over the radio for hints in persona. Eventually the cops would start coming over the radio to guide you out of the room. Anyway. Someone walking by the escape room saw people getting kidnapped and called the actual police. The police came by, and the escape room workers explained. But the actual police wanted to confirm with the people in the room. They knocked on the door and said Salt Lake City Police. Open up and the group responded we can't because there's a bomb strapped to the door. Luckily it ended well with everyone laughing afterwards. News summary. My buddy guessed a locks combo which gave us the final clue. But we had not found the other ones. We ending up solving the room backwards. When the room administrator came in she had nothing else to say but what the duck did you guys do? My dad owns an escape room in a small town in Norway and the weirdest thing someone has done is probably trying to punch the camera. 
The guy was like 150 centimeters tall and couldn't reach it after trying three times to punch it he gave up. Hey. One I can answer. Kinda. I was the dude in the room. It was my first 10 year old brother's birthday party and children are dumb f. It was themed around a nuclear power station that was gonna blow up the town. And essentially what happened was we had an hour to complete three rooms. We took 45 minutes to get through the first because kids kept throwing stuff around. One guy got freaked out thinking it was real and pressed the button to end the room. Thankfully it didn't work or something and my dad shouted at him. So he took a tantrum and duck eyeing locked himself in a drawer. Then because the kids can't organize it we had to hunt for the most stressful 3 minutes of my life for the key. And then we got through and it was sorta of okay from there cause a lot of kids up and left the room. Never again. Never. Ever. Again. Oh my god. My time has come. People do damage in escape rooms constantly. But that's the whole point. And it's usually in good fun. The best part of my old escape room job was that it was literally right next door to a brothel. People would frequently come to our door not realizing that they were one door over from where they wanted to be and ask hey, how much? Me. In my customer service voice, well it depends on how many people you bring. It's $40 each if you're a group of 2. And goes down to $32 each if you're a group of 8. Usually we recommend groups of 4 to 6 people. That seems to be the sweet spot. Their looks of horror will make me laugh forever. I was a player and I was in a large cage. Through the bars I had to open a heavy lock. The cage was dimly lit with lead bars on the floor. I got the lock open but due to it being heavy and me having to handle it through the bars I dropped it. On the lead bar. At first I thought the light turning off was part of the room. Turns out I broke the lead bar. Pulled the air vent covers off the walls floor. Had to add in an official disclaimer in the rules spiel I did before they went in the room. No clues in the air vents. Customers were stupid a lot. But it was a pretty sweet gig overall. I was the player here. This was a horror themed escape house with people in costumes screaming at you from time to time with chainsaws and it. We were in a room with an open jail cage and we knew the next clue was in that cage but it's pretty obvious that cage was designed to scare the it out of whoever was inside. I waltzed in. The cage door slammed shut behind me. I took the note and slipped myself out between the bars. We waited for several minutes until I slipped back into the cage so the game could progress. Later on the workers told us they were really surprised when I had slipped out of their trap and were trying to figure out what to do next. Attended a Saw series themed escape room with my so and some randoms since the room required 4-6. We get locked in to start. Chained to fixtures like the dark room scene from the movie. Lights are off. As soon as the thing starts one of the randoms says. I have a gun in case we need to shoot someone. I thought he was joking. We all did. Eventually the lights turn on and he pulls out a real gun and sits it in the sink and says. I'm leaving the gun in the sink in case something happens to me. It's for everyone. I'll weigh in with my mildly amusing escape room anecdote. Not that absurd. More anticlimactic. This was actually a break in format where you were supposed to recover some locked up MacGuffin. We were really close and the next step evidently was to unlock a door. We solved the puzzle that we figured would allow us to do this. But then when we tried the door, it wouldn't open. So for the remaining 15 minutes or so, we scramble frantically looking for more clues to figure out how to open this damn door, but failed. When we asked about it afterwards, the guy was confused because the last puzzle we solved was the one that should have opened the door. After some back and forth, it turns out, the door just has a bit of a funny handle. Not part of the puzzle in any way, just a door that works different from what you're used to. That's all that stood between us and sweet victory. Once did an escape room with work. One in Birmingham, UK. Sherlock Holmes themed room. I walk in last. Spot a flat cap on the door and. As I have an innate need to wear any hat I find. I stuck it on my head. 25 minutes later we still haven't cracked the first clue which requires us to find a key. You'll know where this is going. We asked for help. The detective likes his hat. Lo and behold the first clue has been on my head for almost half of the allotted time. There's been a few. The idiots initially tried cutting through their chains. They finally worked it out and one of them sawed through their leg and shot the other with a revolver we'd left in there. 
I did an escape room with my family and the workers have to tell you not to lick the light bulb. This is because some guy thought if he licked the light bulb the answer would be revealed on the light bulb. The only answer he found was light bulbs are hot and can burn you. I work at an escape room and too many customers come to play and then put the torches in their mouth. Disgusting. We've had a couple get in the room and start to get frisky instead of playing the game. Had one who was super drunk and just started to piss in the corner of one room. Another lady who had been drinking who decided to stay in the room and puke everywhere and then put props over the top of piles of puke instead of leaving the room to go to the toilet. And many others. Not an escape room worker. Not absurd. But funny. I was at a heist themed escape room over Christmas. Which featured a bit where you have to maneuver past lasers and get a diamond. If you trip the laser the display case would close and you needed to go back to the start of the room to reset everything. After we finished the room we were told about a group of 4 elderly women who just walked through the lasers. And had one of the groups stay at the beginning. Resetting the trip. Absolute geniuses. I can just imagine it. The cackling as they break the system. Some of them tried to escape. Not a worker. But the local escape room in my town has an absurd thing the players do to get clues if we're stumped we have to do the Imka dance motions if we need help. As players, we walk into a pirate themed escape room. There is treasure on the floor, a cannon of parrot, scattered maps, and a piano. My friend is like oh cool, I can play some backing music, proceeds to play pirates of the caribbean theme and clunk. The door unlocks and the game is over. The whole point was to solve puzzles to collect pieces to the music sheet of the theme. Best 30 seconds and 20 OA ever spent. I have a fun one. The escape room I used to work in had an outdoors riddle hunt alongside the normal escape room setup. The boss never cared to explain to me how the outdoors hunt worked so I always picked shifts only when no one had ordered the outdoors thing. Once however, unannounced. This drunk bachelorette party showed up claiming that they ordered the outdoors hunt. There was some bug in the ordering software and while I was explaining myself they demanded a striptease. I did not do it obviously. Regardless they did the room instead and pretty well actually and then they gave me a fat tip. Cheers.